Luckily, dogs can't fire machine guns, but that doesn't mean robot canines can't. Welcome to Technology. I'm Alex Melty. Today, I have four tech stories that you need to know about, including one about a killer robot dog with a submachine gun strapped to its back. Some people on the internet are saying that this video is straight out of an episode of Black Mirror. Viewers couldn't tell if it was being remotely controlled by a human, but it had a Russian flag on its side and a Russian submachine gun on its back. The model of the robot looked similar to the Boston Dynamics Spot, a robot that's quite known for being able to dance. And you could even nab a knockoff version of it for cheap on AliExpress. But Boston Dynamics says its robot dogs will never be sold to be used as weapons. However, other security and defense companies are moving to do just that. Whether it's a DIY killer robot dog or something more sophisticated, it sounds like our biggest robot fears are gonna be coming to life sooner rather than later. <laughs> Machines and robots are not exempt from engaging in harmful human behavior like racism and sexism. And a new study by the Georgia Institute of Technology and John Hopkins University just proved it again. Researchers found that virtual robots programmed with a specific AI algorithm made both sexist and racist assumptions based on images of people's faces. When organizing photos of faces based on a list of categories, the robots were more likely to label a black man as a criminal than a white man. And they often associated women and people of color with the words janitor and homemaker. As companies invest more money to replace human workers with robots across different sectors, can artificial intelligence be trusted to contribute to society in a positive way? In other words, it's on us to make sure that we don't automate racism before it's too late. Do you know what to do in the event of a nuclear attack? If you live in New York City, local officials would like to think that you do. This short PSA in July gives no context, but it does outline three pretty basic steps residents should take. Get inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. Officials with the city say the video isn't tied to any specific threat, but given current global tensions, it doesn't take long for residents to draw conclusions on social media. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has pushed nuclear tensions higher than at any point since the Cold War, and many New Yorkers were left feeling more confused by the message than anything else. The city's mayor, Eric Adams, believe it's better to be safe than sorry, and that the video itself isn't alarmist. But what do you think about the timing of the video? Have you ever started your car in the middle of winter and wished you had heated seats? If you own a newer BMW in certain countries around the world, there's a subscription for that. The luxury automaker is now selling subscriptions for heated seats in select markets, and it'll cost you about $18 a month. You can get unlimited access for more than $400. The thing is, the cars already have heated seats built in, you're just paying to unlock them. And that's promoting a backlash for consumers who have already shelled out serious cash to drive around in a Beamer. These microtransactions are part of a growing trend among luxury car manufacturers, and you could soon be paying for a subscription to all kinds of added features. BMW's Connected Drive online store allows drivers to purchase upgrades remotely with no need to ever visit a dealer. How do you feel about microtransactions? Is this the future of the auto industry or a straight up ripoff or both? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode of Technality and I'll see you in the future.